Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So I have to show you guys this. In just six days, I've had so much growth off of this black eyed pea. If you look at this, I mean, they're starting to vine out and we even have the beginning stages, some flowers. I even have a couple bean pods starting. So these black eyed peas are doing really well. Now I will say I've got some aphid activity now I've seen a couple ladybugs in here, so hopefully they can eat them, but I don't think the ladybugs are gonna be able to eat all of the aphids because there is quite a bit. I mean, this is so densely planted that it would be difficult for me to come in. I've ripped out a couple of the plants. In fact, there was a big hole here because I ripped out some, but they've completely taken over that hole. So, I mean, if you look, it's just insane growth. Every day I come out and I mean, it's like these are growing. This was like down to here yesterday. Um, and it's grown all that in just one day. It's just crazy, crazy fast growth. These are doing really well. And not all of them have aphids, uh, just a couple handful of them do. Now, one thing I read somewhere, okay, this might just be for trees, I don't know. You let me know in the comment section if you guys have heard of this, but an abundance of nitrogen can cause aphid growth and that's in trees so I was watching some video on it and they were saying that if something has too much nitrogen then there's an imbalance in the nutrients and that can cause aphid growth or aphid infestation but only a handful of these have it one thing about beans any of the legumes I don't know if I'm saying that right but any of those they pull nitrogen out of the air versus getting it from the soil. In fact, they actually put nitrogen back in the soil. So it could be that there's just an abundance of nitrogen in the air and they're able to pull it out. I mean, if you look at this, these are like super dark green leaves. Of course, the new growth is gonna be a lighter green, but these are really, really dark, dark green leaves. And so they probably have a ton of nitrogen. So I'm guessing maybe that's it. And the seems like I'm getting more flowers on this side there's really nothing on that side yet. I will get it at one point, I'm sure. So I wonder if, because of the way that the sun hits, it's close, maybe it's closer, because if you look, there's the chicken coop. It's a little closer to the chicken coop. These ones are getting more nitrogen from the air, because they pull it out of the air. I don't know. I mean, this is just hypothetical. But it's possible that this side is getting more nitrogen. This side is the one that is getting more of the aphids. I'm not seeing any aphids over there at all, but also I'm not seeing any any flowers either and and even so not all of this side is getting it um, I guess if that theory was correct then over here I would get it I guess I'm getting a little bit of aphids right there but not every plant on this side is getting it and if you come in here if you look I mean there's just no aphids once you get on this side which is really weird I got a lot of bean um, or flower flower starting even over here there is some I guess yeah, there's definitely some, but no aphids, no aphids at all. See, this is new. This wasn't here yesterday. Um, I was looking over here and I'm not, I didn't see any of the flowers like I'm seeing now. So there's absolutely no aphids on this side. It's only that side. So maybe it's just that the aphids started here and they're going to work their way down. I'm not sure, but let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about that. I'm pretty excited about this, guys. Can't believe I'm already getting flowers, so I'll definitely get at least a little harvest off of this before winter. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you guys on the next video. Now, you guys try to escape the daily grind.